Today we're checking out the debut album from Mammoth WVH Plus. I think I finally found the perfect music streamer for the garage. I am reviewing the A Relic S50 Pro Plus. All this and more are coming up next. <laughs> Hi, my name is Frank, it's Friday. That means time to kick back, relax, and talk music. I am back from my break, 33 years. I had a, a restful few weeks. I hope you enjoyed the final part of your summer. I've been plotting a lot of great episodes and great content coming up, so please do stay tuned for that. Before we get into this, I also wanna give a huge shout out to those of you who have bought Channel 33 RPM Apparel and the Channel 33 RPM store. Your support is much appreciated and helps this channel continue to grow. First things first, let's talk about the debut album from Mammoth WVH. Of course, this is the debut project from Wolfgang Van Halen, and Wolf is Eddie Van Halen's son. So it took me forever to actually pick this up. I was hoping to get the record initially, but at least here, everywhere it's like 40 bucks and to me that's a little more than i wanted to spend on this particular release and the cd was 12 bucks so after holding out for a while it was a no-brainer i ended up grabbing the compact disc i think this is a great summer album in terms of style i would call it modern hard rock if we're honest it probably has more in common with Nickelback and Three Doors Down than it does Van Halen, at least in terms of tonality and production. And that's not a bad thing. I kind of wonder if some people expected Wolf to make a Van Halen album, just judging by the amount of hate this guy gets online. I just don't understand that at all. A lot of the criticism seems to be that Wolf is talentless and he doesn't deserve the level of publicity he gets. Well, of course he's not talentless. I mean, he literally played every instrument and sang every note on this album. The guy is talent. He may not be a guitar god like his dad Eddie was, but he's certainly talented. I know a lot of people are also critical of him because of his weight. I'm not even going to go there. And a lot of people also give him a hard time saying that he's riding on his dad's coattails. Of course, being a Van Halen, just that name has opened up a lot of doors for Wolf. But he certainly holds his own. I'm impressed. I think the album starts off really, really strong. It dips a little bit towards the end, I think, in terms of quality of the songs, but it is still a really, really good album. If you haven't heard it, I recommend you pick up the debut from Mammoth WVH. It's time to open the mail. I got this in the mail from the fine folks over at Arillic. This is a preamp and a music streamer. This is model S50 Pro Plus. So while they did send this to me for review purposes, as always, my opinions are my own. Now, before we get into this, the last time I reviewed a music streamer was the Blue Sound Node 2i. That is a high resolution music streamer. I use it all the time and it's in my stereo system behind us. But several of you were not crazy about the fact that I was talking about music streaming. So if that is you, this may be a good time to turn off the video. The comments I got were, Frank is giving up on vinyl. Frank is now a music streamer. I am unsubscribing from this channel. The truth couldn't be any further from that though. So, as I said, this came to me and the timing was great because I am looking to upgrade my streaming game in the garage. This is a budget Chinese made music streamer that retails for about $200. Those of you who don't know what a music streamer is, this is basically a mini computer that streams music to your stereo system and you control it generally using an app on your phone. It's different from a Bluetooth in terms of you're not transmitting necessarily music from your phone to here, the music actually originates in here, so in theory, that should improve the quality of your listening experience. Now, a couple of notes here. Unlike the Blue Sound Node, which costs significantly more than this, this 
a Rillic unit is not capable of streaming high resolution audio. It can stream CD quality audio if you have the right source. That is fine for me and in the garage. And as I said, that should be an improvement from what I have now. Currently in the garage, I'm using this $30 Bluetooth receiver that I plug into my stereo out there. It works, it sounds fine, but a device like this is only capable of streaming in MP3 quality. Again, this one with the right source can stream in CD quality. So there should be a noticeable improvement from this to this, but we are gonna find out. We're gonna go to the garage now, unbox this, set it up, and check it out. All right, here's the box. It's packaged well. The, the branding and packaging is nice. We open it up and there you go. We have the Arillic owner's manual and here is the unit itself. It looks a lot better than I thought it would. It looks a little cheap when you see it, the pictures of it online, but it looks good. There's a multitude of inputs and outputs on the back. We got everything else in here. We got the remote. We got the plug, we got the Wi-Fi antennas, and as I said, uh, you know, various connectors here. So let's check this out. We just screw in these Wi-Fi antennas, super easy. I mean, this is important, right? You gotta transmit your internet signal to this device, and we're gonna plug it in. And for the sake of today's um, demonstration, I'm gonna use the audio cables that came with it. I will upgrade that down the road. Next thing you gotta do is download the 4Stream app. And once we do that, we should be able to set up the unit. Now, I had some issues I skipped over here but I had some issues getting the um, device to connect to Wi-Fi all I had to do was hit reset and the reset button and all was good so for audio testing purposes some of you may think this is odd but I tend to use uh, Kiss's Dress to Kill album partly because I'm very familiar with that album and secondly because it's a very simple album. Two guitars, drums, bass, and vocals. Again, for testing purposes, I am using my garage stereo, which includes a Techniques amp, Kef speakers, as well as abstract acoustic speakers. This is not premium gear, but it is a great garage setup. And again, when testing this, I was using the same file from Tidal, but I was switching back and forth from the Arillic streamer and my old Bluetooth receiver. I think I have an opinion on which one sounds better, but I'm gonna see if my wife Sherry is around to get a completely unbiased opinion. I'm not even gonna tell her which one's which, and let's see what, if she's around, and let's see what she says. Okay, I got my wife Sherry here. She's wearing a sweater. I don't know how you're wearing a sweater. It's, it, it's 40 degrees. I came out from an air-conditioned house. <laughs> okay, I wanna try something. So I got this streamer. Okay. And I, I think I know, I'm trying to compare what sounds better, the streamer or listening to music via Bluetooth. Okay. So I want to play you the two. I'm not going to tell you... Which is which. Which is which. Yeah, okay. And, and you can tell me which one sounds better. Okay. Okay, let's set this up. So we tested this. What we did, Sherry chose a song she's very familiar with. Yes. You chose Annie Lennox. Yeah, No More I Love Yous. No More I Love Yous. Love Annie Lennox. Then I played one version of it was um, Tidal streaming from my phone via Bluetooth to the stereo. And then I streamed the exact same song, same part of the song, but using the new streamer. Now, I didn't tell you which one was which. No. I, didn't, I didn't say what was Bluetooth, and I did not say which one was this new streamer. No. The streamer is streaming in CD quality. Bluetooth is streaming in MP3 quality. Okay. Which one was better, A or B? The second one I listened to. The second one was, drum roll, please. The streamer. Oh, nice. So, an unbiased, I didn't tell her what was what. Um, that was my thoughts, too. I thought the streamer sounded better. It sounded a little bit more clear and crisp. Clear and crisp. Yeah. And that was on the garage stereo system. So this yeah. is not in a acoustically treated or a room. room no. This is on garage speakers and a garage stereo. So there you go. The Arillic streamer was definitely an upgrade from this cheap little 
Bluetooth receiver I was using. I wouldn't say it was a night and day difference, but again, there was an audible improvement in the quality of sound. I mean, above that, the Aurelic has way more features than this little device does. You can plug in a USB stick, for example. You can create a network, a networked home listening system by networking various stereo components together all that sort of stuff. Now, will it replace my blue sound, my Node high definition music streamer behind me? No, it won't. The Node, as I said, uh, produces high resolution music and the Aurelic does not. And that is important for me when doing serious listening. However, for the garage or for a secondary stereo system, the Aurelic streamer is absolutely perfect. All right, 33 years. Let me know what you thought of today's episode in the comments below. If you dug it, I would appreciate a quick thumbs up. Hope you have a great rest of the weekend. Until next time, keep on spinning and streaming. That's your thing.